Here are my tools and setup for digital painting. I work mostly with digital tools and want to share my go-to set, which I think is also one of the most common setups for many digital illustrators these days. So here it is. I use a 12.9 inch iPad Pro, the second generation Apple Pencil, the Procreate digital drawing app, and a screen protector called Clear View Paperlike, which helps give some friction to the drawing experience and somewhat mimics the feeling of drawing on paper instead of on a smooth piece of glass. As for what memory size to get, I get the smallest size of the iPad Pro because I pretty much only use it for digital painting and the Procreate app files take up an incredibly small amount of storage space. If you've ever had to deal with huge Photoshop files, you know what I'm getting at. The entire drawing experience between the iPad, the pencil, and Procreate is really seamless and you can finish an entire complex digital painting within the Procreate app. By the way, if you're finding this helpful, there's way more content like this on Cloudhouse. Check out our helpful classes, live drawing series, and a safe community space to explore your creativity and connect with others like you. I have a separate class I'm introducing you to digital painting. So I'm gonna do a quick overview of getting set up here. And if you'd like more details, I encourage you to check that class out. So if you wanna set it up for a sketchbook, I would set up a template size that mimics the feeling of a notebook. You can use the default screen size since that's similar to a sheet of paper, or you might look for your favorite notebook and see what the page dimensions are and set it up that way. So for example, if I like drawing in my eight by 10 inch notebook, I can create an eight by 10 inch template. I then group all of the pages into one folder so that you can scroll through them similar to a book. The latest Procreate version, as of the time of this recording, has a new feature where you can see all your layers in a page format and then scroll through them, which is really nice. As for brushes and colors, I recommend picking just a few favorite brushes and a few favorite colors to keep your experience focused. You can organize your brushes in its own brush folder by creating a new one. You can also save your own special color palette here. Lastly, you can use separate layers if you'd like some flexibility, but drawing all on one layer could be a nice way to mimic the feeling of drawing in a physical notebook. To wrap it up, here's a summary of all of the items that I've discussed. If you'd like to know where to purchase them, I'll include links for each item in the description below. I hope that was helpful. Remember, you can always find more tips and tutorials at our Mimochai Cloud House. Until next time, thanks for watching.